Oh gosh, it's good. Okay. He's barely hooked. God damn. Dude, about literally jerked the rod out of my hand. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support recently. I really appreciate y'all. Everybody who likes, comments on the video, subscribes to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, if you could, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell right next to it. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. If you could, also, we're on the road to a million. If you don't mind, please share this video with a friend and uh, maybe you can get somebody in the fishing. Maybe it's somebody who's never gone fishing before, but maybe they end up watching this video and it gets them in the fishing, and I'd really appreciate that. But today we're gonna to be doing some pond fishing, more importantly, some golf course pond fishing. And we're gonna see if we can hook some big fish. It's been a few months since we filmed like a golf course pond video, so I was like, you know what? Let's get out here, try to catch some big fish, and just have fun while we're doing it. We got our new Kicking Their Bass TV combo right here. If you guys have been following my Instagram, you guys have already seen that this rod is actually dropping this Sunday. I am so excited about it, and um, man, it's just a blessing. For this whole thing to come to life, you know, last few months, we've been waiting just to release this thing and it's about to drop on Sunday. And they're gonna be sold out instantly. If you guys want to get notified right when these drop, go to my website, there's gonna be a pop-up that says be the first to know. Type in your phone number right there and right when this rod drops, you guys will be getting a notification. So everybody who supports that and supports my brand, thank you so much, it means a lot. So let's go ahead and rig up a rod. We're gonna use the kicking combo. If you guys are wondering what pound test I have, it's 17 pound fluorocarbon. I'm actually cutting off this little Texas rig right here. I might tie this on here in a bit, but the one thing that I like to do, especially when going to ponds, it doesn't matter, ponds, lakes, rivers, when I go out to a place, I like throwing my moving baits first, see if the fish are gonna eat it. And if they don't end up eating it, I like to slow down, tie on like a little slow moving bait. <laughs> slow moving bait like this. Scissor bait? Um, yeah, the little scissor bait. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll move over to something like this. So I might start off with like a top water or a moving bait, like a chatter donk. And then if they're not eating that, I'll ease up and throw something slow. But we're just gonna throw this regular white chatterbait right here. I don't have any more Thunder Crickets. I'm out of stock, I gotta order some more. Those were the ones I've been using recently, but I actually had this one with me. So if you guys wanna check out any of the rods or baits that I use in the videos, I'll have discount codes and links down below. Let's go ahead and tie this bad boy up. If you guys are wondering with the trailer that I'm gonna be using, we're actually just gonna put on a standard little fluke right there. It's a white fluke to match this chatter donk. Boom. There we go. I will say, look at that tail, Cody. You yeah. see that? That's the one thing that's bad about some soft plastics. They get stuck in the bag and they can kind of get like tangled up. I kind of bent it to that, but it'd be fine. When this thing's chattering through the water, I think I'll be moving anyways. So let's go ahead and walk down this pond, start casting, and try to get this a big one. Oh, she looking saucy, ain't she, Cody? She's looking good. She's looking real good. So this is the pond that we're gonna start off at. There's some big ones in here. I've caught like three fish that are over five, six pounds in here and lost a couple really good ones. So I think the last time we came out here, Cody, what did I lose, like a six pound? You lost one right down it. there, yeah. Like right here on the bank, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good, but let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna fan cast some of the bank right here. We're gonna walk, end up walking all the way around it. So let's see what we can do. I'm excited. All right, let's get it, baby. I don't know what to expect as far as with how this weather is. I don't know if they're gonna bite really good or just be really finicky. There's only one way to find out, it's a cast. Gotta tighten my drag. That would have been so bad. Have like a six pounder eat it and nothing. I think we're gonna get bit right here on this point.
chasing Ben right there again. Oh, there's all this slop. You just think with the clouds today, these fish would be roaming shallow. What? Right there, something for it. Just that. Oh, gosh. Okay. He's barely hooked, dude. Let's get it. You called that. Yeah. You saw that little boil. See, normally, guys, on a day like today, look at that. He's barely hooked. I don't know if that's a bad sign right there or not. He ate it, though. He stayed pinned. It's a pretty fresh fish today. Let's get her back in the water real quick. Thank you, baby. This is the thing. When, when you come out here on, like, a cloudy day like today, these fish are usually roaming. They're moving a lot. We don't really see much activity. You saw that swirl though. Yeah. And he, he ate it right there. We've been throwing along this bank too, very shallow. You know, usually on a day like today, they'd be pushed up roaming, but I think they might be positioned more off the bank. So now we're gonna start angling our cast more and figure out the hot spot of where those fish are sitting. I think I saw one chasing bait right there. Ooh. He might've just hit me. That fish ate it right away though out there. Yeah. I thought he was bigger than he was. I thought he was about a three. He looked big. I saw his body. Yeah, like when he twirled, dude, he looked so big. Some stuff right there. Huh? Yeah. See, it's hard to tell if that's wind or a fish, actually. Yeah. Let's do this. Beam it. Surprised you didn't get one. Uh -huh. When he looked away, I saw something that looked like it went towards the boat. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be down that bank right there, maybe. God, dog. Dude, about literally jerked the rod out of my hand. That one ate it. That's how you want him to eat it. That's a good fish right there. It's pretty. Very pretty bass. It's fat and chunky. It's got like a golden look to him too. In cloudy days. Look, that one actually ate it pretty good. The last one kind of slapped it. He about pulled the rod out of my hand. I was not expecting him. I was kind of walking. About made me fall. There we go. That's pretty fish. Second one today. Getting a little better. Let's get it. It's such a fat little fish. There you go. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. We got two fish. Hopefully, they're going to end up eating it good, man. That last one slapped it. He wasn't playing no games. He had it in the back of his throat, too. That's exactly what you want. That's what I was hoping to get on today. This rain looks like it's coming in, too. So, we don't got too much longer. We just got to put our heads down and keep casting. See if we can get us another one of these fish. Just had something hit my line right there. If I can get some more the way that one was hitting it, we're gonna have a good day. I know there's one sitting on this bank somewhere, dude. <laughs> dude, that was crazy. I like thumped it off of something. It almost felt like I hit it off a fish's back. And I just watched him eat it right there. He wasn't big. That was kind of cool though. I was hoping he was going to stay on. I was going to flop him right up on the bank. Just hook set, flop him.
Come on, big girl, big juicy mama. Think there's a juicy mama in here, Cody? Yeah, there's a few. She's got to sing to them. You know what's crazy? <laughs> they want me to sing to them? Yeah. Is that what they want? They probably do. I'll tell you, man. I don't think you've seen any big ones out of here, have you? Or you've seen them, but we haven't caught them. We haven't caught a real big one out of here. Because remember, I broke that one off over there. It's like, what, maybe six pounds? And then I lost that one that was like, what, four and a half, four? Mm -hmm. That was right here. Remember that? Yeah. They're right at the oh. bank. I just know we can get one today. They're in here. Uh, I just remembered about that one. Dude. You remember that? Yeah. It was like standing right here. That was crazy. He like ate it right at the bank, and he just happened to come off. I know they're in here. We just got to get one to buy it. way back up in there yeah. yeah yeah i see that look at that boil i don't know what that was uh, problem is it could be a turtle it could be a gator mm -hmm. <laughs> or a fish right behind my bait just like that that was a fish dog he saw me What? <laughs> that was kind of cool, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, another one followed me back. He's not big, but hey, that was pretty sweet. Just a little hook set, flop on the bank, one motion, all right? Boop. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> uh, you can tell they don't want to eat it, though. Like, why, did, why have they yeah. fallen it to the bank like that? Like last second they kind of turn you know it's not like they're actively hitting it uh, those first two fish were kind of actively hitting it but the rest of just followed this sucker right up to the bank and they don't they don't do anything about it like you've been giving it one last little jerk every time it's right at the bank and they eat it right there then again that's that's like one of those things that should i be popping this more or should i slow it down you know what i mean like should i should i like steadily retrieve this thing and then just give it one little sporadic movement you know what i mean maybe there needs to be more action with it get them to commit to it you know it might just be tailing it not really wanting it but if it pops they might commit Oh, I thought it was a lot bigger than that. It's a good one though. That's the best one. Look at that. That's a solid two and a half. God. See, they don't act hyper. And then you get them on the bank and they just spaz out for you. Barely hooked though. That's a good two pound fish. Look at that. Now, that's a chunky monkey. That's the ones that you want right there. I still want a four or five pounder, but gotta love those fat guys yeah it's a nice one all right boys and girls that's a nice little fish we're upgrading we're getting bigger all right we just came out of this other pond see if we can get something rolling maybe they'll bite a little better in here not that they were biting bad it's just they're biting very weird like i said this weather has been not only has the weather been so bad but it's been so inconsistent so i mean i just think these fish are a little messed up they're not biting how they really should be We'll get some, we'll, we'll get some fish here in a minute. We're gonna cover a lot of water.
Oh, there. Yep. That's how they should be roaming. That's a good one, dude. You see that boil to the right? Yeah, we might have caught it at the right time. That's a good fish, dude. It's fighting hard as can be. Strong bass, man. Strong. Oh, look at him tug. It's a good little fish. He's only about a pound and a half, but dude, he was fighting like he's dang three pounds. Look at that. Just a brute. Fat and chunky. Here we go. There's the first one at the new pond. Whoa. We saw a couple boils at the bank over here. You know, I was talking about it over there. We just never really saw that action. But over here, we've seen a few boil. Might get on a good bite. Nice little pound and a halfer. So the main thing is, you know, I'm getting this chatterbait. I'm really paying attention to the bank. You know, when we're fishing out here, it don't matter where you're fishing. Lakes, rivers, ponds, doesn't matter. The biggest thing, one of the most important things to fishing is keeping your eyes open and paying attention. Like I wouldn't have caught that first fish today if Cody wasn't watching right there. So little tiny signs are, you know, fish movement. And it can be the difference of you catching nothing that day or throwing right on where a fish boiled to end up catching a 12 pounder so something to pay attention to when you're fishing and right now you know i'm just casting down the bank i'm watching for that activity and then we're going to determine where we need to be putting our bait so let's keep on casting yep loaded up on that sucker didn't even thump it nothing straight load up action barely hooked to another little guy that's cool guys i want to talk about something too we're kind of on a time crunch you know it's it's actually about to rain so we're like kind of trying to hustle you know we got like an hour to go and uh the biggest thing i know a lot of you guys actually get off work and for lunch break you guys have come out to some ponds you know because you guys really enjoy fishing you want to get out in the outdoors I know a lot of guys that go out there for 30, 45 minutes on their lunch break. Well, one thing to do, especially if you're over here hitting ponds, just walk down the bank. There is something that you can cast like this. I mean, it's always good to throw a worm or a crawl or something slow, but get you on like a moving bait. Just go down the bank and cast a lot. And uh, when you're on a time crunch, you can really run into more fish. The more casts that you throw, most of the time there's more bites. It depends on the day though. All depends where you're fishing too. You know, some fish might want something slower, but if you are in a time crunch and the weather's right, put you on a moving bait, cover it with some water, go down the bank. It's a good way to catch them. Thank you, baby. You see how I'm doing this right here, guys? I'm casting and walking. I'm not, I'm not stopping the whole time. Look at that. There we go, baby. It's casting and walking. That's all we're doing. Another little tiny squirt. Man, we just can't get the big ones to eat today, but man, I'm enjoying it. Just coming out here, catching some fish. It's a good time. That's a little skinnier, dude. It's just a good time, baby. Walking and casting down that bank, covering water as much as we can. We beaming. That feels like a good one. Trolling, bro, on foot? <laughs> I'm literally trolling on foot. People don't know about that one. <laughs> Never seen that one. He actually ate it pretty good. He felt big, dude. I was like, ah, dog. No. I mean, it's a good one. It's a good bass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I started walking down the bank just reeling fast, guys. It looks like it's about to rain, so I was just going quick, and he ate it. Doesn't make any sense, anything today. Dude, that was 
so nice. cool. That was cool. There we go. Guys, that was sweet right there. I actually stopped the bait and I felt him just slam it. So I reeled up really quick and hooks at him. He's barely hooked though, just like the rest of them. Man, guys, it felt good to come out here with the chatter donk, do some golf course pond fishing and just have a good time, you know, have a relaxing day, try to catch a bunch of fish. And I really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the sub button. I'd really appreciate it. If you could share this video with a friend and get them in the fishing because I love seeing more people get in the outdoors. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.